Angular Bootstrap can help you get around the requirement of using ng-app. So if I delete this, you can see that I just get the string of curly braces and random. So what I can do is say Angular Bootstrap and then look up the element. So I'll get element by ID and we'll have element called container. So if I say this is an ID of container, then the string will go away there. And the second parameter here is actually the modules you want to pass in. So if I pass in my app, which matches up with this, you can see I get the random value back. So you can actually pass in as many modules as you want in here. This is just going to return the injector that controls each of those modules. So you can see that if I actually duplicate this and have two separate apps running on the same page, so we'll make this one a container two and duplicate this line, you can see that I'll have two completely separate apps running on different modules and getting different random numbers. They're not sharing the same scope or the same random.